please, no, no, no! What's up, TRC fans? Don't miss our first event at Orlando Speed World on February 3rd, 2024. Gates open at 4 p.m. and we'll be drag racing, roll racing, and drifting all night. We'll see you there. What's up, guys? Javier from That Racing Channel. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're at Orlando Speed World, and we're here checking out Brett LaSala's bad-ass coyote-powered Mustang. This thing just made north of 2,900 horsepower. I think close to like 2,950, something around there. Absolutely insane. It has an FFRE built Coyote. I mean, this thing is just absolutely next level. And he's here testing at Orlando Speed World for sick week. So we're gonna catch up with him, see what he's been into since last time you guys saw him. Right, what's up my man? Hey, good. Good to see you brother. Yeah, you too. Out here, Orlando Speed World. That's it, testing yep. like usual. Yeah, man, you got the pretty much the, the craziest Coyote Mustang. I should say, my favorite. It's my favorite too. So, <laughs> I mean, that's two people. It's, it, it's the favorite Coyote Mustang. But. <laughs> but you're out here testing for sick week, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. So. And, and since, since last we saw you, a lot has changed. You're making a ton more power. Right. This thing has gone incredibly quicker. Yeah. I mean, so get, give us, uh, give the people a rundown like since last time they saw it. Yeah, so I mean, last year we, we did per amazingly well with this car. You know, we won major, every major event we entered with it, uh, went faster than we ever dreamed of going, you know, with an engine platform that we've been developing for a lot of years with fast forward racing engines, uh, with a lot of factory components, which, you know, throw that on top, it's just, you know, even cooler, right? So uh, best to date went 633 at 223 miles an hour against Cletus at FL2K in the finals. That's the fastest quarter mile pass the car's been. Went 417 to the eighth on that run. After that event, we wanted to do a couple uh, eighth mile races at Mod Nash Nationals. So we changed the rear gear, changed the trans gears, kind of set it up a little more for the eighth. Went 409 at 185 to the eighth, which. <laughs> That's insane, dude. Right, and, and it's still, so all of that, um, you know, we did sick week last year, and that's what we're testing for today. Uh, we, you know, we won our division, third overall, quickest on a drag radial, and, you know, all of that was in, you know, the trim that we drive this car, right? We change the tires, change the fuel, we drive to the next race track. We raced it all last year in that same trim. Like, you know, the radiator didn't come out, uh, nothing nothing changed actually with the car's combo. You know, we raced it, we went 409 in, in our drag and drive trim. Uh, you know, since, since then, since you've seen the car coming along through that year, um, we've upgraded some parts along the way. Uh, we've always ran a precision turbo on this car. It started life with 76 millimeters. Uh, now it has 83, 85 next gens. Uh, you know, we're just increasing the power, increasing the efficiency of the deal. Uh, transmission, converter has been tweaked a little bit. You know, just making refinements to the combination has got it quicker and quicker. We, we changed, I don't know if you've seen it with this front end. I think it had the fiberglass front end. It had a different front end on it. Right, yeah. so, you know, we put a carbon front end, the mimic factory parts, stock headlights, uh, carbon doors. So we are able to, you know, take 50 pounds off the car uh, by doing that. Now it's like 2950 race weight, uh, depending on if we got weight in a certain spot or not, you know. So we're just trying to make it more efficient, trying to make it, trying to make it faster. And uh, recently we went to the dyno with the, not this engine, with the engine that we raced with last year since FL2K and made 2930 horsepower. No, God 
please, no, 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 no! That's just insane. <laughs> like, so, so how does that uh, engine combo differ from like when you were making like 2000? So when I was making 2000, I think the only main difference currently from basically when we had like the 2000 horsepower combo, when we started getting close to 2500 horsepower, the MLS head gasket started to show a sign that it wasn't gonna work anymore. Um, so we switched it to a copper head gasket, but the deck still remains uh, stock. It's still a wet deck, you know, uh, it's not welded or braced or, any, or, or dry decked or anything like that. You know, we just changed the, the gasket style. Um, that sealed up the heads, that allowed us to push it even further. Um, once we started trapping over 220 miles an hour, which um, we know now from the dyno is when it was making uh, 2800 and above, that's when we started noticing an accelerated wear on our main bearings. And that was because the engine has a stock crank in it. <laughs> that's insane, dude. <laughs> so, <laughs> the crankshaft was flexing, you know, uh, starting to touch down on the bearings a little bit, you know. I mean, we're... but that's still just so wild to think about, man. Yeah, we, we shouldn't even be talking like, about this. Like, like, why are, why are like we even... literally just the, the right. OEM yeah. from Ford. From Ford, like regular you know, Ford's like, parts that's... department. It doesn't, you know, come down the line from anything. Like that. that blows my mind. Yeah, it, it, you know, and it's kind of been the history of this engine with us anyway, you know, the, a lot of the timing components are stock. Uh, it's a factory cast block with, you know, sleeves, factory cast head, you know, um, what, what it's doing is just, is just cool. Oh really yeah, is. man. And that, that, and, and the guy, I mean, I got to give a shout out to the guys at FFRE, oh, yeah. fast forward race engines. Yeah. I mean, they obviously have been a part of your program from the beginning. Absolutely. And, and the little work truck right there peeking right here. <laughs> She's ready. Might, might get a little treatment here soon. She's, she's ready. She's ready. <laughs> the blower off. So I'm, I'm <laughs> other stuff may be happening. Yeah, <laughs> other stuff may be happening. And I'm, I'm super stoked to go on that journey with FFRE, with yourself. You yeah. know, so, so, you know, having the right team in your corner for these race programs, yeah. it makes the difference, you know, so. Right. And, and we've, you know, uh, we've, I've come up all the way through, you know, it started with my other green Mustang, the original Snot Rocket, and that was stock engine turbo kit, E85 rods pistons you know we you did the 10 speed stuff and then right you know. yeah you know we have the recipe basically all the way through so you know now we're we're, we're in it far enough now where we're like okay we need a, an engine to make 1500 horsepower and you know we you know what turbo size it needs to be what injector what you know and it's just gonna run yeah right? it's just gonna run as many times as you floor it so part of the reason we went to the hub dyno with the car uh was to test a different intake lid test a couple fueling things and then see what power level was at the last time we dyno in the car was a year prior smaller turbos you know, we were running like 48 pounds of boost back then. It made 2,500 horsepower. The last time we went 409, we were running 55 pounds of boost. Generally, we raced the car 53 to 55 pounds, you know, so it was kind of also a proving ground because as we're vetting the engine and everything, like we need to know the power limit. Like, you know, horsepower doesn't necessarily matter, but you know, when we have an engine program and we have parts that are, you know, starting to show signs, they can't just gauge it off ET because a lot of things affect ET, like the weight of the car and things like that. So knowing the horsepower uh, was going to be fun for one thing, because we knew it was over 2,500 horsepower. And now, you know, we can actually, you know, write down, you know, what, what each step is. So basically, the car is still making over 40 horsepower per pound of boost from 20 psi all the way up to 55 psi so around 50 pounds of boost it made 2500 ran it like 53 pounds of boost made 2800 54 55 pounds of boost made 2930 uh, we stopped there we started seeing a little coolant pressure uh, from that older engine that was in the car but two more pounds of boost it would have been 3000 like it's just you know the, the tracking that it's going on is just that way and uh i guarantee you we will be running that much boost <laughs> again and then further out i mean today we are running 50 pounds today you know getting the new getting those things dialed in getting the new engine broke in uh you know on 50 pounds and uh you know we'll turn it up 53 and then you know we know 55 we ran it at that for the whole season so it, it's it's okay so preparing for the oncoming year uh we have a new engine in the car uh joe was working on it in the background as we were racing the last engine with the stock crank that we just talked about after the dyno we took that out and put this engine in this engine is the exact same spec as the last engine minus the crankshaft this has a Winberg billet crankshaft uh, to see if we can get to the next failure point you know now the crankshaft's not going to flex maybe we start breaking a block maybe you know the flex is the the flex is going to move somewhere the power is going somewhere or maybe it's just fine you know we're, we're going to find out probably this week on sick week and then you know a little while after that so we're going to run this billet crankshaft now and, and see how it does for us with this engine and then we're going to tear down the last engine it's still together and running and great uh, so look forward to that video we're going to do a full tear down of that engine that's been in the car now 50 60 passes it's got all of the records are set on that engine, the 2,900 horsepower, the stock crank. Um, I can't wait to see what it looks like with Joe and Jay and really, really pull it apart and look at it. Let's fire it up, walk you around, check oh, out the inside. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. So, my new uh, fancy doors with oh, nice. very pro. That's right, you got car yeah, carbon, yeah. carbon doors now, right? Yeah, that's it. So, you Hell know, you yeah. can't, can't get in there nice and sleek. 
Dude, it's so crazy the evolution of this thing. Remember that one time we took it to Starbucks? Yeah. <laughs> you came by the shop and we're like, oh, let's go for a cruise. Let's go drive it around, dude. <laughs> right. Most people don't believe you can actually drive it. You know, that like it's in race car trim most of the time and then we did it for six weeks, but it, this is how we do it. Like no push car, you know, we just cruise it around. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so interior hasn't changed much, huh? No, no, it's, it's you know, the same, you know, Mo uh, Motec ECU, PDM, Dash, and that's pretty it. Basic, nice. basic race car stuff. You can yeah. see all the, all the comfort for the drag and drive. You oh know, yeah, all the luxuries. In insulation, power windows, <laughs> seat pads. All the fine luxuries. <laughs> You're, you're hogging all the coyote horsepower, man. Just just give me a couple for the truck. <laughs> yeah, well, it was funny uh, after the dyno, uh, you know, uh, Jim is, you know, he helps me with everything with the car, you know, me and him work together on it, you know, fabrication. And his car is the same way, uh, you know, his white Mustang, great white, you know, and it recently went 719 at 200. Jesus. Right, right, and it's you know full street car, yeah. you know trim, and everyone's like, man, what, what's the difference between you know your car and Brett's car? Why is it so much faster? And now, now we know it's a thousand horsepower. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, this is sprinkle some down. You know, we give some to you. We give exactly, some to you, you got some, you got enough to give around and, and spread it out, and spread out the coyote love, bro. Come on. No, but dude, honestly, um, I can't wait to see this thing run this season. You're you're always killing it with this car, man. Thanks. Uh, good luck on sick week guys you'll probably see another video come out for the sick week journey um but yeah man good luck out there go fast thanks stay yeah. safe heck yeah that's it make, make it the week go fast and make it the week <laughs> we'll uh we'll catch up with you soon brother thanks man